Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Wales on TV. Today I will be answering the question, do cetaceans pass through menopause? So, first of all, what is menopause? Menopause is a period in a female's life cycle when they stop being fertile and also they stop reproducing. But not all the animals pass through it. In humans and some species of tooth whales, like killer whales, sourcing paddle whales, belugas, narwhals, false killer whale and sperm whales, the females they can live for decades after stopping reproduction. But why do some species have menopause? So there is some uh, theories uh, trying to explain this question. The most accepted one is that uh, females they pass through the menopause because it's crucial for the survival of the offspring and the grand offspring. So this fact could also explain why the females they have longer lifespan than the males. By stopping reproduction, the head grandmother will share the knowledge um, for the best hunting spots and also they will share the half of the fish that they will catch. So one example, we can find it in killer whales, the female's lifespan is estimated in 90 years while the males they reach up to 30. The orcas family group they reach up to 40 individuals but this doesn't mean that they don't socialize in between other groups. Generally during the breeding time Males and females, they will mix with other groups, uh, searching for reproduction opportunities and also avoiding the inbreeding. And after, they will come back to the same familiar group. Females from approximately 12 to 40 years age, they will give birth and after they will go through the menopause, changing the social function and lead with their knowledge. It has been shown that in group of offspring that are not lead by a grandmother, the survival of the offspring is reduced drastically the two years after the death of the matriarch. A recent study showed that the grandmothers they protect more their sons from getting injured in fights with other killer whales, but there is no evidence in daughters. They believe that this has more um, evolutionary sense to protect their sons because they can make more babies, so they are more potential to pass on the mother bloodline. In conclusion, the informational role of the postmenopausal grandmothers is crucial to optimize foraging success and also the survival of the family, especially the grand offspring and their own offspring. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you like it, just subscribe in the channel and see you in the next episode.